What's up guys, this is Nock V. Today we're going to get started on a remix for Sincerely from Violet Evergarden. At the time of editing this video, the track is finished and it is being released on the upcoming Wednesday. So I can actually show you how the track is going to sound when the series is finished. So uh, let's have a listen. Alright, let's get started. So when I started on this track, I didn't actually have the fully processed acapella yet, so I did start with the not so nice sounding one first. So the first thing I like to do is open up FL and get a, just a basic kick and side chain pattern going. Then we go to this website here and pretty much tap along with the music so we can get the BPM of the track. Okay, so now we have an approximation of what the BPM is. We're just going to drag this uh, this rough acapella that I have right now and um, get it stretched out. So by default, my vocal channels have a, probably a bit too much reverb on them. So let's just let's just turn that down. Probably still too much. We'll, we'll fix that later. For now, I'm just going to put an EQ on here and just uh, probably cut out all the lows. We'll change that to low cut. A lot of those lower frequencies we don't really need because all we want is the vocal frequencies. Then we'll high cut a bit of the high end out a bit too. Yeah, that's probably good. All right, now to get this to the proper BPM, just click here, go fit to tempo, and then we'll type in 144. Now we'll wait for this to stretch out, and it should be at uh, should match out 175. Yeah, that sounds a fair bit faster. Let's um, let's try and line it up with the kick drum. Yeah, that sounded really good. So now I'm just going to quickly draw out the kick drum and side chain trigger over a significant portion of the track. So now I'm just going to tweak the side chain on the vocals and get the kick drum to sort of duck out the vocals a little bit more aggressively. I'm also going to do a little bit of dumbass EQing here and just kind of bring out the airiness of the vocals a little bit more, get them to stand out a bit. So now I'm going to load in Serum, sort of mess around with some bass presets and try and uh, try and figure out what the baseline notes are. So I'm just going to mess around a bit. Now I sure as hell didn't figure that out first try, but um, those seem like the right notes. Ugh. Let's find a good preset. Okay, so now let's draw out this bass line.
Honestly, that's already sounding pretty sick. So now we're just going to open up Serum, and I'm going to make that hard style kind of lead thing that I did in OK Boomer. I'm pretty sure uh, you can watch the OK Boomer making of, and it should show how to make that uh, that synth. So I'm just going to fast forward for all this boring stuff. So now I'm going to do my usual uh, lead effect slot chaining stuff. So what I usually do is have the lead synth on one effect slot, then I'll duplicate that over to another effect slot where I'll just have the reverb. Then I'll join the reverb and the lead again on a third effect slot and mix them together. So now on my reverb channel, I'm going to load up Arts Acoustic Reverb and load up a preset that I kind of ripped from Aethril's uh, UK Hardcore Tutorials. He makes some sick tutorials. Seriously, go check them out. Then I route the output of the leads to my main synth bus. So now I'm going to load a limiter on the reverb channel and all that's going to be doing is side chaining with the actual lead sound itself. So when the lead's playing, it ducks out the reverb and that gives it a kind of breathing sound. I've, I've talked about this before. Now I'm going to go to the lead mix bus and chuck on Vengeance Multiband Compressor onto this. Then of course, as everybody knows, Dance Master 2 preset. And take the mix down about halfway. Oh, there we go. So now I'm drawing out the main lead melody and that's going to mirror pretty much the vocals in the chorus. So I'm pretty much going back and forth listening to it and trying to figure it out. Okay, I think that's it. So the bass pattern during the chorus is also different as well, so let's let's figure that out. Now at its most basic, that really is it. Next up, we're gonna add a little bit more depth to these leads, add some layers. So let's get a spire layer going in and get some kind of detuned saw stuff in there. Oh yeah. So now I'm gonna add a pitch bend dip on some of these more extended notes. So obviously now we're going to need to enable mono and legato and add some slide. So that sounds pretty good. We just need to make sure the other layers in here can do it too. Yeah, that's sounding really good now. So at this point, the clean acapella has uh, finished processing. So let's uh, add that in and see how it sounds. Oh, 
awesome. Very awesome. So I've added this bass line to another section of the track and I'm listening to it and I kind of notice that one of the notes is out of place. Let's have a listen. That one. That's not right. That's where it should be. That's much better. So the bass to me is sounding a little bit thin, so what I'm going to do is add another layer of serum as kind of like a gritty layer. So we're going to high pass this layer as well so that nothing in it kind of clashes with the low end of our main bass. So let's EQ that bottom end out. Then turn on the main bass. It's got a much nicer texture. Sounding very nice. So now we're going to branch out in terms of percussion. We'll get some ride cymbals in here. Let's put some open hi hats in too. A little bit loud. Now let's get a clap in here. Maybe one of those nice older claps. That's the stuff. Now you obviously need a crash in here too. Let's put that on some effects slot. Drag it to where it needs to be. And pump it into our uh, percussion chain. Now we're just moving everything over to kind of make way for the intro. Give it a good 16 bars. I will draw out the uh, side chain and draw out the kick, put in the crashes and the ride two for now. All right, this is starting to get somewhere. So now I'm gonna add in a starting down lifter, a uh, snare roll fill and then a fill just before the drop. Good. Now I've added a little percussion loop to the beginning as well, and now we're adding in a riser just before the drop. Now the placement of that riser isn't quite right, so let's just drag this over. Much better. So now I'm taking some slices from the vocals and I'm gonna make a little vocal chop at the beginning at the intro. Awesome. So now I'm going to add in another layer of serum and add in some kind of pads to the beginning verse. 
So I'm going to start off writing out the melody and I'm just going to use the bass notes and uh, pretty much draw them out one note per bar and then kind of figure out what the top notes and mid notes should be for the chords. There we go, let's have a listen to that. Already sounding pretty patty. Think we might need to give it some reverb though. Alright, now let's hear it in the track. One thing I also love adding to my tracks these days is the kalimba sounds. Now I've lost the footage for making the kalimba, but it's just contact factory preset with some reverb. Honestly, that sounds beautiful. So I'm going to finish the video here, it's almost, what, 18 minutes pretty much? A little bit longer than I usually do these days. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, click that like button and if you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support me and get some cool perks like access to work in progress tracks, project files and more, check out the link to my Patreon in the description. I also have a Discord server too, so if you want to hang out and talk music, check the description for the invite link as well. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.